going on everybody? Captain Namco here. How is everybody doing this afternoon? So today we're going to discuss in this video how to change the light bulb in a generation 4 Kirby and the Heritage 2 basically the same thing. Um, there are screws located here in the headlight lens there and you'll be able to access your bulb now with the, with a G4 the headlight lens is held in by two screws right there held in by two screws here and then once you get them screws loosened lower the headlight hood and this lens will pop off now you do not want to yank out the light bulb really hard you want to kind of wiggle it loose a little bit till it pops out and once that pops out then you can replace your bulb and it's the same way put it in gently until you hear a click or popping sound or whatever it sounds like until the light and then that way you know the light bulb is in place and then what I typically do is once I get the light bulb put in I plug in the machine to make sure the light bulb is good and works and then once it works you just pop the headlight lens back on raise your headlight hood but you need to hold the lens in until <clears throat> you get the screws in both holes so that way you don't lose the headlight lens don't pop off when you're trying to pop in you know trying to screw this lens back on now the Centria on the other hand this is a whole other ball game you have no way getting to this this is a LED mechanism on it so you can see there's clearly no way to get to the light because it's LED and these lights do not burn out very often so the G6 the headlight lens is busted but there is a uh, to get the headlight lens off of this one you gotta have a flathead screwdriver right there And once you uh, locate that area there, once you locate that tab, you gently pry on that with a flathead screwdriver and pop it off. And once that pops off, then you're ready to access the light bulb. Um, <clears throat> I do have videos where I did put an LED light in this G6. And as you can see, there is a LED light bulb in there. This one has an LED light. This one and this one these are not factory the century however is the factory LED light and <coughs> so on and so forth another thing is we're going to discuss is how to determine what year these machines are well let me get a flashlight and I will show you to determine what year your Kirby is. Uh oh. To determine what year your uh, Kirby is, whatever one you have, um, the G4, for example, August of 94, as you can see. You see the 8? The 08 is right behind the 94. Um, Yeah, there you go. As you can see, there's a number located on the side of the uh, housing here. And it tells you what year your machine is. The 8 means August and then 94. This is the 80th anniversary edition of Kirby Generation 4. And this one came out in 1994. And this one, 1995. Looking a little bit dusty, guys. And it is showing its age, but that's A-OK. -okay. 
my G6 December of 2000. This one, January of 1984. And then my Centria, the numbers right there, August 2011. As you can see right there. So, that's how you tell what your, your Kirby's are. And I hope you find this video very helpful as well. If you guys are curious about more about these Kirby's guys. Um, and you want to know what year they are. The numbers. There's a number located on the housing of the machine. It's right behind the headlight hood here. And, and it'll tell you what year. You always want to look at the... One, two, the first, the second and third number, and the fourth and fifth, because you'll see the eleven, for example, which is two thousand eleven, and the 08, which is August, is what your my century is. So, hopefully, you guys find that very helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Leave a like in the comment set down below. Leave a good comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on post bell notification icons, and I'll see you guys next time.